What's up, YouTube? This is 2RAW4TV. His tragic death occurred more than 20 years ago. He was murdered at his recording studio back in, I believe it was 2002. But fans of Run DMC can now get some closure as justice has finally prevailed and justice has finally been done for one of the longest running cold cases in hip hop history. Two men, according to an uh, article from TMZ, two suspects have been found guilty of the murder of Jam Master J. Two men have now been convicted of murdering Run DMC's Jam Master J, bringing an end to one of hip hop's longest running cold cases. The jury in Brooklyn federal court found both defendants Ronald Washington and Carl Jordan Jr. guilty Tuesday, just a little under a month after the trial began. Jay was gunned down more than 21 years ago on the evening of October 30th, 2002, where prosecutors argued Washington and Jordan both ambushed him at his studio over a failed drug deal, with Jordan executing him at close range with multiple shots to the head. A third suspect by the name of, uh, Joe, I think his name is Jay Bryant, will be tried at a later date after he was implicated in the crime. Investigators say Bryant left an article containing his DNA at the scene as he's said to have been the point man allowing Washington and Jordan access to the studio to take the life of the hip-hop icon. Before the trial started, Attorney General, Attorney General Merrick Garland took the death penalty off the table, but both men are staring at a minimum of 20 years in prison each. So... You got these guys, minimum 20 years. Uh, Jay Bryant probably will get, I don't know, 15 years at least. Um, maybe 20 as well. That's minimum. So I'm assuming when this occurred, these men were, I'm just assuming this. They were in their 20s maybe. So 20s, maybe 30-ish. So these men are probably now well into their 40s, maybe 50. So, if they were to get out of prison, minimum, they would probably be in their, well into their 60s, maybe early 70s. Um, you know, I don't think that's enough, to be, to, to be quite honest. I, I've got a feeling like if this was, say, Garth Brooks, they'd be probably getting at least twice of what their sentence is. Uh, they took out one of the great icons in hip hop history. I'm not saying that Jam Method J was a saint because he was apparently involved in some things that, you know, uh, have some serious consequences. I, I understand that. But this was a premeditated crime. Um, and uh, when you look at the details of this situation, um, it was especially heinous. And um, this wasn't a crime of passion. This wasn't a, a heat of the moment thing where there was an argument and, you know, uh, someone took the life of somebody, still wrong, but at least it was a, a, a crime of passion or heat of the moment type thing. This was cold, calculated, premeditated. And um, 20 years apiece. I think that's not enough, in my opinion. I think it should be at least, at the very least, 30. But that's just my opinion. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Because at least some form of justice is being done for uh, Jam Master J. Uh, but it took 21, going on 22 years. But tell me what you guys think.